perseverance, a resilience, the ability to bounce back. When the helmet's on, the helmet's on, we just gotta push. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Life in the Fast Lane. We're right here in the MMRT, and I'm joined by Malaysia's Alistair Jung. He's just competing in the F4 Southeast Asia Championship, and Alistair has been on a roll. Alistair, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, man. So, firstly, how's your season been so far? Uh, this season started pretty rough, you know. Um, I think up until this weekend, we only had one podium uh, officially which was in Sepang round two. Right. There's been a lot of mechanical failures, a, lo a lot of incidents where it was out of my control, like being hit or um, just being unlucky with the stewards or making some silly mistakes. Right. So coming through that and coming to India and winning and yeah. getting strong podiums and good yeah. finishes is a huge relief for me. Right. So yeah, I, it, it's been tough so far, but hopefully from now it goes up. Right. So Alistair, can you tell us a bit more about your journey in motorsport so far? Yeah, um, well I started the journey relatively late at the age of 13, uh, in 2016 actually. So now I'm in my third year, uh, going towards my fourth. Um, I'm looking for some strong finishes now. The pace is definitely a lot better than it was when I first started. So, it, from karts to F4, it, it was a huge step at the time, and I, and I stepped up last year in February, I think, it was my right. first race, and it went a lot better than what we expected, you know, we were only yeah. a second off the pace, and um, Dad was quite happy as well, yeah. so we decided to try the championship out again, um, it hasn't gone our way, so we're not really fighting for P1 anymore, right. but I'm looking strong now in the yeah. last two weeks. So. Yeah. So can you give us a greater idea about all the learnings that you've taken back from this season in Formula 4? Um, since this year has been a bit difficult, you know, um, the ability to just keep a level head, bounce back even though the things didn't go our way, um, it, it, it's been tough to deal with um, financially and emotionally because yeah. a lot goes into this sport um, course, yeah. as people know. Yeah. Um, I'm still struggling to find money to finish the championship, so that, that, that's also on my mind, but I think this year's taught me how to just clear up and focus on the driving right. and just no matter what, just push to the end no matter what. Right. And it's paying off uh, recently, so yeah. I'll just keep doing that and pick up whatever else I need to learn. That's quite a nice thing. But one interesting thing that your dad told me, I was speaking to Mr. Alex Yu a few months ago and he told me that at this age, you are already better than he was. What do you have to say about that? Um, I think my dad actually started a bit later than me. I think he started 15 maybe. Right. So I wouldn't be surprised, but hearing that from him, I kind of like that. Yeah, maybe I can... Who knows, who knows what the future comes. Yeah. Uh, is it a more of an advantage or a disadvantage of being the son of a very, very famous racing driver that in your case is Mr. Alex Yu? What's it more like? Um, that, that name has a lot of baggage with it. Yeah. Um, there's definitely a bit of pressure behind it, but I try, I try not to think about it. You know, in, in the end, when I'm on track with these guys, we're just a bunch of dudes and, yeah. and girls racing. You know, real to real, trying to do our best to prove ourselves. So maybe outside of the car, when I'm not, uh, when I'm doing press stuff, and um, I don't know, people are asking me what it's like or getting those results yeah maybe it's a bit like oh I should be doing better and everyone expects the, the better stuff but yeah what I know is that I'm doing the best I can and I'm doing okay um, but when the helmet's on the helmet's on we just gotta push yeah got it man and you've been pretty impressive this season so far as well so I think that's an additional bonus as well yeah it was okay all right, thank you so much, Alistair. Thank you so much for your time. That, ladies and gentlemen, was Alistair Young from Malaysia, who's competing in the F4 SEA this season. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Feel free to leave a like, feel free to share this video, and also to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.